Hey guys, and welcome back to Smart Money Minds. Today, we're going to be talking about a bunch of Chinese tech stocks and why they're selling off and why there's going to be a huge opportunity coming up. On Friday, we saw Goldman Sachs start selling big blocks of shares. So, for example, 10 million share blocks of Baidu and as well as VIPs and TME and also some Chinese tech stocks as well. The reason why everybody seems to be getting out right now is because the SEC may be implementing a new law called the Holding Foreign Companies Accountable Act. So this act can actually delist some of the dual listed stocks. So for a lot of Chinese tech stocks, they would have their stocks in the Shanghai market and also in the Nasdaq or in the US market as well. So if it does get delisted in the US market, then a lot of capital will go away. So what we're looking at here was we saw institutions trying to get out starting even as early as Wednesday, because that's when the news dropped. We see here on March the 24th, this is what the headline was. And so a lot of these major dual listed Chinese companies are just getting sold off and a lot of their shares are just being dumped as quickly as possible and so this is what's happening as well on friday and it looks like on friday that the bottom was in and all the institutions got out and this is where we have a great opportunity for an oversold bounce incoming in the next one to three to four days because when everybody starts panic selling it gets to a certain point of capitulation where there are no more sellers left and there are only buyers and so it drives the prices right back up violently and that's what we're seeing here because baidu tencent vips iq gsx all these stocks were getting sold off they were down 10 this baidu was down 14 tencent down 20 all these names were dropping multiple percentage points and this is where it leads to a very classic pattern where it is the volume climax day and it's a doji candlestick that's for tme same thing is happening for vips huge doji candle huge volume climax baidu a little bit different looks like there was a lot more buying at the end of the day but it was a reversal hammer and the volume was there as well iq we had a huge drop not it is a doji, but it is still quite bearish, but the volume is still the, very high. What I'm looking for personally is in TME and in VIPs because there is a very good technical perspective on this drop and it hit a Fibonacci retracement level of 0.786 before pushing right back up. And we see if we zoom in here that there was volume driving this price up. What I want to see on Monday is that this consolidates maybe a little bit more here and then continues to push back up, back up over around likely the 22, 23 marker, which was the previous support level. And that's where I'd like to see the stock go. Looking at VIPs here, we had a support level here at 26, 27 zone. And that's where it hit right off here on the golden pocket of this Fibonacci retracement. And it's looking quite good as well. There's a lot of bullish volume near the end of the day, and it's pushing back up very nicely up to this point here, where there's a lot of confluencing prices around this 32 to 34 zone. So that's where we're looking at here. And I'm seeing that even from here, if we push back up, that's another 8% move. And that's a bare minimum. I mean, it could very easily, the thing is that it could very easily drop back down. And this may only be a lower high, but that's why you have to look at your risk management. Make sure you stop out quickly if it doesn't go with the pattern that you're looking with. Baidu, as you can see, is already pushing back up look at the bull volume coming in here once this no longer was able to push up but it was a 30 minute move up baidu here we see quite a bit of follow through on friday already 
But what we do see is that 30 minutes right here, once it stopped dropping, it shot right up with volume. So what we're looking for is at least a higher low and pushing back up over and for a higher high for this bounce to confirm on a longer time frame. With all these names, these are four of the major reasons that are happening. The volume climax, there's a huge doji candlestick, we got buying pressure near 10 to 11 o'clock Pacific time. So it looks like we're out of sellers temporarily. And a lot of them were hitting the golden pocket and also the 0.786 retracement on the daily move, if not the weekly move. So it looks very prime for a bounce to move the prices back up, at least for the short term. Here's the thing with these plays though. These are higher risk plays because they are A, news related, so they can actually be delisted. It's not likely over the weekend because the government moves slowly and not very fast, especially over the weekend. And this could also be just a lower high. It could be just a short-term uptrend because that's not confirmed yet. The short-term uptrend is not confirmed yet, as you saw in Baidu. There was a 30 minute bull push, but there was no higher low to higher high yet. So we really need to see for Monday to confirm these patterns to have the higher low and have some good bullish volume pushing back up so that it looks better on the longer term time frame, the four hour, so that it looks like it is bouncing properly. And it is definitely okay to get in a little late for smaller gains. For example, if we look at VIPs, we have the 8 EMA all the way up here at 38, okay? So let's say we do a reverse FIB here. So from 46 to right down in this range here, 25 zone. And we have a reverse FIB and let's say it pushes back up only to the 0.5. So from this point up to 35. And if you bought right at the open and you saw the bullish volume coming in, that's still a good 10, 12% for the move for you to catch. So don't feel like you need to be super early to catch the bottom because it may not be the bottom. One last thing that gives me a little more confidence that this is the bottom and gives me confidence for it to bounce is looking at the options flow. So this is a little more advanced, but if we look at the options flow here and we look at, for example, TME, we have a lot of unusual activity going on. So lots of people buying calls and betting that it's going to go up to a pretty high price range. GSX, we have a couple here. We have Baidu. Look at the buying near the end of day. All these calls were coming in as a sweep. So people were pretty much going market buy on these options. These are the big money, big institutions that have way more data than the rest of us. And they are buying $200,000, almost a million dollars here in calls. So they know something that we don't know. So it's okay to follow these guys. And that's where we make the money when they make money. In the comments below, let me know what stocks you've been playing in this choppy market. This is one of the more confident plays that I've seen lately. But uh, let me know what you've been playing. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys next time for more stock opportunities.